Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So now myself and Martin are back in Scotland. Um, as you know, if you watch one of the videos, we were at his parents' house back home while the lockdown was on and he wasn't working. But now he's back at work, so we're back in Scotland, but we are in a different place this time. I did a little cottage tour when we were in Aberdeen, but we're not there anymore. We're actually a little further up. Um, so it does take a little bit longer to get home, but that's fine. Um, we're in a little place called, I'm probably going to say this wrong, so I do apologise. It's called Drumdelgi or Drumdelgi. I'm not too sure how you pronounce it, so again, I apologise. Um, but the place is quirky, to say the least. If you can see the sofa there, you can see a little bit of the quirkiness. Um, but I will show you more in the tour. But the surrounding area is beautiful. And I wasn't sure whether to include that in this video or a separate one. Um, so if it's not if it's not in this video, then I'll do a separate one on like the surrounding area and like there's a gorgeous forest um, just literally on our doorstep. So I thought I'd show you that. And I am looking very Whitney Houston, 80s. I want to dance with somebody with this hair and makeup, but that's fine. We love a good Whitney Houston. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you're all safe and well, and let's get into it. Start off just outside the cottage. So as you can see, we are again in the middle of nowhere, which is how we like it. There are a couple of little houses over there, but this is sort of the main area. There's some um, stables just over there. Unfortunately, no horses, but there are horses just over that field there, which we've seen when we've been on walks and stuff. Um, so yeah, so there's a little picnic area there and there are a couple more little cottages just back there and there's a little Italian family staying there, but obviously due to coronavirus, we haven't had a chance to meet them, um, which is a shame. Absolutely beautiful. It is starting to rain, like I said, when I do these, the weather always seems to be shit. But anyway, so this is the outside of the cottage and we shall enter. So this is just the hallway, um, nothing very interesting, Martin's work equipment there. Um, this is just where the washing machine is. There, very interesting, I'm sure you're all interested in that. Um, that's got the boiler in, I'm not going to open that for you because then I'd have to open all that and you don't really want to see the boiler. Anyway, um, so if we go through here, we'll go through here first, lovely little painting. Is it a painting or is it just, I think it's just forward on. Anyway, in here is the living room. So here's where you can see where I was talking about sort of the quirkiness of the place. It is a little dark in here today because of the weather outside being a bit dull, but I've tried to turn the light on for you. As you can see, it's not very good. So here we've got just our little sort of exercise area where we've kind of built it ourselves. All this stuff is what Martin's brought from home. That's his weight, my little BND um, resistance band. So this is where Obviously we do our exercise. If you watch my working out with Gabby Shin video, then that's where I did it. Um, some lovely little plants, which really sort of kind of complement the place, I'd say. Um, now, this sofa. <laughs> it is not my cup of tea in the least. Number one, the colour. Hate it. <laughs> um, and number two, the material. I cannot stand, um, like, velvety oh velvety felt types of material like those like crushed velvet headboards and things i cannot stand no offense if you've got one they're just not for me um so when we walked through here i was not um taken by the sofa in fact i hated it but it's just a sofa um, and the rest of the place is absolutely fine there's a chair with like a bunch of throws that were on the sofa but it just took up too much space um, the fridge freezer I absolutely love. I'm not going to open it because we need to kind of go shopping. But the colour is amazing, like a little baby duck egg blue. Um, the only problem I would say is that the freezer is just a little bit too small. Um, but for us just being here temporarily, it's fine. Um, yeah, the kitchen area, I'm not going to go into too much explanation. Mind the chilli that's defrosting that we're going to have for tea. My Friday night dinner mug. You know, the Wilson to my gym. Cute, so that's what Martin bought me for Valentine's Day. Our little snacking area, which is looking a little bleak because we've kind of stuffed our faces. Um, yeah, little table area where we, Martin kind of works from, I kind of work from. It's just, just got a bunch of rubbish on there at the moment. Um, so that's it with the front room. 
And then if we go over here, little hole we are the light on. And this is our bedroom where we're staying in. Um, obviously because it's got the biggest bed. Whoa, it doesn't even get the bed in the frame. There we go. Um, there's not much to it. Howdy, stylish in my joggers. Um, yeah, there's not much to it. Again, the um, headboard is not my, not to my choice, but we work with it. Um, I do like the colour of the walls, actually. It's kind of like a turquoisey, really dark blue. Um, so I'm kind of, it's growing on me, it's growing on me, let's say the least. Little station where I do my hair. Um, we haven't used the fan yet because it's a bit chilly here. Another little painting. Um, if I just close this door, we kind of got like a little walk-in. Let me just sit down, little walk-in wardrobe. These cushions and throw were on the bed again. Not a fan of the colour, not a fan of the material, which is why we took them off. Um, we have not unpacked our clothes. We never do. We just live out of a suitcase because <laughs> um, we're lazy. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's our room, not much to it. The second room, that kind of like the guest room, this is just where we're storing all of our stuff, so don't mind it in here. Um, as you can see, the quirkiness continues with the colour of the decor. I appreciate the taste, I appreciate the effort. Um, it does take a while to get used to, but it's a lovely little place, so I'm not too bothered. Um, and also, we're not sleeping in here, but it's nice if kind of, once coronavirus is over, we can have people stay over. If they want to travel six, seven hours to Scotland, that is. Yeah, so just my suitcase, a lot of rubbish. Kind of little storage. Storage room. And that's about it. And here we've got the bathroom. Oh, a lovely, another little painting there, which is beautiful. This area is honestly gorgeous, I will say that. So if we go in here, and this is just the bathroom. It's just a walk-in shower. Um little cabinet here oh I can't even see myself hello um little sink and you know it's just a bathroom no bath um like the last cottage which is a little disappointing but we can live with that because we don't have a bath at our house back home anyway um yeah so that's kind of it it's a small place but it's fine for just the two of us and that oh my hair looks very ginger in this light um, and that's kind of it for the cottage tour. Um, I know it's very short, um, but I thought I would just show you guys around. Well, my hair is just not, not the best. Oh. So I thought I would just show you guys around. Um, it's not a big place, like I said, but it's where we are at the moment, so I thought I would share that with you. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video, so give it a thumbs up, leave some comments below what you'd like to see from me, as always. Um, and yeah, um, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.